Gilbert Geezer here. Today we will investigate this question. Which one is larger, e to the pi or pi to the e? So consider this function, f of x equals x to the 1 over x. I'm going to go ahead and write that as y equals x to the 1 over x. I'm going to natural log both sides. <laughs> I love the natural log. And natural log gives me that. Whoa. Excuse me. Using the power rule of logs, I'm going to go ahead and write this as ln y equals 1 over x ln x. Um, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. The derivative of ln y with respect to x is y prime over y. The derivative of ln x over x is the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. So you end up getting y prime equals, I'm going to multiply both sides by y, and y is really x to the 1 over x. x to the 1 over x times 1 minus ln x all over x squared. And that is um, remarkable. We can take the derivative. Whoa! Oh. Shoelace is untied. Oh, if I had a nickel every time that happened, I'd be pretty rich. I want to find. I want to find the critical numbers of this function. And I'm, x equals zero is not a critical number. It's none in the domain. Um, what about this? I'm not going to get anything from there, but I will get zero on the top if x is e. So critical number is e. I'm going to go ahead and draw the slope number line, f prime, and I'm going to put e on that slope number line. And we're going to investigate to the left and to the right. Now, if you plug 2 into this slope, ln of 2, I think, is 0.69. So this is positive, 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 which makes a positive. You plug in something to the right of 2.7, which is 3, you end up getting ln 3, which I think is 1.09 something. So 1 minus 1.09, this is going to be negative, and then positive, and then positive, which is negative, which means the graph goes up and then down which means there is a local max at E. Now, that's a good thing to know because we can say our original function, f of E, is greater than f of something around it, like f of 3 or f of pi. Well, what is f of E? f of E is E raised to the 1 over e power, and f of pi is pi raised to the 1 over pi power. I'm going to go ahead and raise both sides to the pi e power. And on the left, you get e to the pi is greater than, on the right, pi to the e. So which one is larger? e to the pi, all done without a calculator. <laughs> and, whoops, excuse me. And um, this is something that you could tell your friends. Um, you are hanging out with your friends at a party, and um, it's dull. Well, break out a whiteboard <laughs> and, um, and, and put this on there. And, and, and show your friends, impress your friends, make the world a better place using calculus. <laughs> Oh.